In this presentation, we're going to talk about working with tables of contents in Word documents. Especially if you are working with a long document, you may want to create a table of contents to make it easier for your readers to navigate through your document. So to insert a table of contents, the first thing you're going to do is click at the beginning of your document and then select the References tab of the ribbon. From the Table of Contents drop-down list, there are a number of built-in options you can use here. I'm going to select this automatic table one. If I click it, it's entered in my table of contents. And you'll see what it is doing is these listings here are my headings one. If I go back to the home tab, I can see how to train for a marathon has a style set of heading one, as does choosing a training program, and then my final setting new goals. So those are what's going to trigger the table of contents. You can also update tables of contents. If I want to add a subheading here, I can type it in and select it. And then from the styles group, I'm going to select heading two. So this is now a secondary heading. I want to update my table of contents to reflect that new entry. When I click here on the table of contents, you can see at the top is the update table option. If I just click this, it's going to ask what I want to update if I only want to update page numbers or the entire table. I'm going to select Update Entire Table and click OK. And now you'll see it's added my subheading here. When you're working with a table of contents, if you hover over one of the entries here, Setting New Goals, you'll see that it's telling me I can press Control on the keyboard and click this option here, and it'll bring me right to the Setting New Goals section. So your table of contents in a Word document is dynamic. You can change it and update it. If you decide that you want to delete the table of contents, you can click in the table of contents, go back to the references tab, select the table of contents option again, and you'll see here at the bottom is the remove table of contents option. So if I select this, my table of contents is removed. Coming up next, you'll test your knowledge of working with tables of contents in Word by completing an exercise.